Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. In today's episode, I had to go to my local fish shop to get some essential supplies, so I figured I'd bring the camera and show you what they got in stock. Let's head in. I have had to keep an eye on uh, store numbers because we're only allowed so many people in store at once, but uh, we're all clear at the moment. So uh, we've got a full assortment of, uh, of uh, frozen food, which is always handy. We've got some of the new uh, Aquaforest starter packs in there, some Tunzi pumps, Siche Synchras. Got a um, Pakistan algae reactor on clearance. See so Dave's working on a uh, pretty fancy looking KH Guardian set up there. We've got some uh, reef salt, we've got a Aqua One mini reef in, a number of uh, different types of uh, artificial rock, and uh, lots more trinkets owned behind the counter there. But let's go check out the uh, the stars of the show, and that's the fish and coral. So, um, let's see what we got here. We got a huge assortment of um, smaller yellow tangs, and these guys are looking great. They only came in last night about midnight, but. Um, they do look sweet. And these um, seahorses are about the friendliest seahorses I've ever seen. Seahorses I normally find like these guys over here are uh, moping about and looking pretty sad, but um, this dude looks like he wants to come home with me. Now I don't have a tank that's suitable for seahorses and I don't think I'm gonna set one up anytime soon, but um, that guy right there is who I'd be going for. There's another dude up here that's pretty friendly too. And then we've got these, uh, I'm not actually sure what these guys are. I think they're a type of dart fish, I could be wrong, I might check with Dave. But um, pretty cool little uh, schooling fish by the looks, they tend to be grouping together. I mean this tank's uh, like a 4x18x18 by 18 by 18 tank and um, there's a dozen of them in there all uh, seated pretty close to each other which is um, always good. Now up here we've got blue tang, nice healthy looking specimen, we've got a little baby little fox face there in the back. Um, we've got a, I think that's a lion rice. Um, he's got big lips, little dude. Uh, we've got a Fiji fox face, a little gold spot rabbit fish. Very nice. Then over here, you've got a huge, huge number of uh, pajama cardinals. Um, all just chilling there, watching the camera as they do. We've got this, uh, I think that's a Spanish hog fish there. He's a cool fish. He does get huge though, so you want to be mindful of that. I think uh, this guy over the back here is a, I um, can't remember exactly, but he's not usually found in the aquarium trade. So he was uh, sent by um, accident, I think, but uh, here he is. So uh, he looks like he's trying to blend in with the pajama cardinals. All right, down here we got, uh, uh, let's see, we got a uh, royal grammar over there in the corner, a different type of uh, seahorse. You can see we've got another, uh, I think that's a mini bar goatfish, um, that guy there. Just something a bit different. Got some more seahorses there, some more of those dart fish. Uh, let's have a look what's in the next tanks. Got a little uh, hawkfish there. Dude's full of personality, just wants to um, have a look at this camera and see what's going on. Some beautiful looking sailfin tangs. They always do love to flash their sails for the camera, which is um, always cool. Got this gigantic uh, hogfish here, the Diana hogfish, I believe. Um, big, big unit. Slightly larger yellow tang there. This dude's a little bit skittish. He might have just come in last night, so uh, he's uh, settling in. Here is a Spanish hogfish. Look at the size of this dude. Absolute beast. Uh, what kind of tang is that one? A mimic tang. Yeah, nice. Mimic tanks tend to come in a variety of uh, colors depending on the fish they're mimicking, but um, he's a pretty cool unit. He's got really nice coloration. Nice. Got a couple of lionfish hiding out in the top corner up there, just um, pretending like they don't want to hurt you, and obviously they really do. Got a beautiful Moorish idol here with a sensational streamer. That streamer would be a good four to five inches long. He's a big unit. All right, we've got some more zebra dart fish here, which is what I think were in the other tanks, but these guys are just a bit bigger. Um, you can actually really get to see some of the colors on them there. You've got this beautiful um, gold style bar on them. And then uh, not to be outdone on the gold stripes, we've got yellow striped cardinals in there. Uh, let's see, there should be a chocolate goby in the tank as well, but he may have sold. All right, let's see what else we can find. 
Uh, these are some rescue fish here. We've got a gigantic sailfin tang when he comes out there. Um, I'm not sure if I can give you a comparison of size. I've got big hands and um, that guy would not fit in my hand. He's an absolute beast. He'd have to be a, close to a kilo in size, I'd imagine. And there is also hiding in there a tomato clown and a, there he is, purple tang. Big purple tang, apparently quite a number of years old. Let's have a look at, oh, look at this cute little uh, butterfly in there. Cute, cute little butterflies. All right, let's check over here. Got some, uh, what are these fish called again, Dave? The squirrel eye? Soldier fish. Soldier fish? Big eye. Big eye. Big eye soldier fish. Something completely different. Pretty cool looking dudes, but um, they get big, yeah? Uh, yeah. Big fish. And this was a black beauty snapper? Yep. It also gets big and ugly. But while he's like that, he looks so, so cute. He's pretty small. He's about the size of a Bangor Cardinal now, and um, those markings are just striking. Got a wrasse up there just pacing about, doing his thing, and then uh, it looks like a coral beauty. Real nice rusty colours on that coral beauty. Popping down here, we've got... Uh, what are these weird little units in here? These ones down here, Dave? Tierra squirrels. Tierra squirrels. <laughs> Another type of uh, soldier or squirrel fish. Yeah, all right. Never... They get to about six or seven inches in captivity, but they school really well. Yeah, all right. So a nifty, a, a schooling option for a predator fish tank. Yep. Yeah, nice. Eat whatever fits in their mouth. They've got a pretty small mouth inside. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, they are schooling pretty tightly. That's cool. All right, now my favorite fish in the shop at the moment is this gigantic Picasso trigger. This oh. dude is just angry as hell. Clown trigger. Clown trigger. Clown Sorry, trigger. Picasso's the other ones. Yeah, yeah. Picasso's the baby. This uh, clown trigger has been trying to intimidate me the whole time I've been here. He's even going to eat a bit of a bit of meat in front of me just to show that he's good for it. Angry, angry dude, but uh, so so pretty, and he's a good size again compared to my hand. He's probably, I'm guessing he's probably a good five to six inches long, and you can see by that angle there he's pretty wide. Got um. An eel in there doing what eels do, hiding in the pipe. In fact, I think his mouth's just sticking out. Just out of that pipe there. And we've got a uh, harlequin tusk there. He's uh, laying pretty low compared to this huge um, clown trigger in there, which I can understand. Up here, we've got some more yellow tangs. These are a good, these are a good size. These are a good adult size yellow tang. I mean, they will get bigger, but uh, these are definitely not babies and they look so, so healthy. These guys only came in last night and their colors their fins, their size, they're just, to be honest, it's rare to see fish come in this healthy anymore. Um, normally that's something that's been in quarantine or um, out the back been getting conditioned and fattened up, but these guys are uh, looking fresh as a daisy. All right, speaking of large, we've got a gigantic cleaner ass. This guy would be the size of my index finger. I know they do get that big, but uh, quite often you see them, they're very small. So uh, a fish like that you'd want to have in a tank with plenty of big fish room to um, clean away at. I think this is a chocolate goby here. Dude's just checking me out. A couple of blue tangs there. Down in this tank here, we've got a few mandarins. There's two sort of pairing up over here together. There's two down there in the back corner. And then there's two in that corner, though one's just trying to creep away, and then there's two up here, so I don't know if they're paired up or not, but they're definitely, um, well, <laughs> they appear to be in pairs. All right, over here we've got a um, beautiful little wrasse. I don't know the name of the wrasse, I'm sorry, but um, lovely little uh, blue-green chromis. Got a couple of, or a few actually, uh, baby blue tangs looking super healthy too. Really nice markings, colouring, size. Often you see blue tangs with a little bit of ick or white spot on them, but these guys are absolutely pristine. Nice to see. Come down into this tank, we've got some uh, Ocellaris clownfish, mix of uh, mist bars and um, standards. Got uh, goatfish here, some more uh, seahorse. Check out this little Blenny sitting up in there pretending he's a seahorse. Those dudes are always full of character. 
Nice little uh, Citroen Gobi here. In fact, there's a couple kicking about in this tank. There was a couple of huge yellow ones that I just sold before, but I got some pictures of them, so I'll share them. Check out this little baby fox face. I love baby fox faces, and that guy is barely any bigger than the baby clownfish. Pretty cool. We've got a um, really nice little uh, gold spot rabbit fish there. He's been hanging out in that corner most of the time. All right, we've got a French angel here, which is just a stunning fish. This guy's a good size. Looks a bit intimidated by the camera, but um, he is a stunning fish. A little Valentini puffer there. Uh, what have we got over here? We've got uh, a few wrasse swimming about. Another cleaner wrasse. It's about normally the size to see them. Uh, what kind of angel is this here? Absolute stunner. What's this uh, angel, Dave? Lamarck. Stunner. Beautiful fish. <laughs> I'll have to look it up. Beautiful fish. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, these two. Yep, yep. Just stunning. And of course, a couple of gigantic Nasos. Coloration difference between the two, I and mean, you got the standard uh, lipstick there, and then you got the blonde lipstick with a real dark body. Both of these guys, big, big units. Look happy and healthy though. Good to see. And there's a little uh, bicolor blenny down there, trying to be as inconspicuous as possible. A uh, Korean angelfish, I'm pretty sure. This guy's feisty, full of life. Got a lovely uh, white cheek, I'm pretty sure there. Real dominance, full of life, really beautiful colors. So we've got a Corin or Korean angelfish. Little baby wrasse down there. Got some more blue green chromis, another yellow tang, coral beauty. It's a type of wrasse. Ebly angelfish, this wrasse is beauty. I got a nice picture of him before. Really nice markings. Looks like another little uh, mimic tank potentially. Uh, fox face, some cardinals. A couple of those wraps and then over in this tank we've got the cutest little uh, hogfish. This guy is so so small. Buyer beware though, they do get big and they do turn into pricks. I've got one in my tank and uh, he is one fish that will not be making it into my uh, new display, but um, <laughs> maybe in a uh, tank where he's got some aggressive uh, tank mates, he might be just fine. Don't be fooled, they won't stay that small and cute forever. Not that they get massive, but um, they do get angry. And they eat some more of these beautiful, um, beautiful angels. That's the pair, we've got the male and female there. Just stunning colours. I'm not sure how well the yellow on the top of this one's coming up, but it's just, it's subtle but not subtle at the same time. The way it just fades in and then that ridge along the top is just so vibrant. Really nice fish. All right, let's check out some corals. Uh, we got some deshies, some chalice. Good variety of chalice with some Aussie war corals, cyanarias in both the green and the red. We've got some uh, really nice uh, purple tip elegance there. Another variation on a war coral at the back. Some big lobos and some filias. We've got um, some gigantic frog spawns down here. Absolutely huge. Then we've got uh, a nice variety of large hammers here. All sorts of different colors. All right, over into this tank, we've got a nice gold hammer, pink tip hammer, solid green, a orange-ish, I'll call it, this guy here at the front. This gigantic showpiece here of this, uh, I guess you'd call it a frammer. It's got um, some hammer and some frog spawn parts in there. Got a beautiful bright A-can there, bower banky behind it, nice deshi. This uh, little elegance hiding in the back there is absolutely stunning. It's a lime tip or a yellow tip uh, elegance. Very, very pretty. Some tr 
absolutely off the mark, off the charts scullies, particularly this uh, one in the back here. It's got $500 on it, but um, that is one of the nicest scullies I've ever seen in my life. Also got a croc Crocodile Island scully there. Um, that might be a banky back there, I think. Fabias, Bower Bankies, nice hammer up there. Nice chalice hiding underneath. It's more chalice, Recordia. War corals, it's a little Bower Banky frag. Some torches. Acans. Good assortment of Acans. Bubble coral, blastos, nice fluffy morph there. We've got a uh, pectinia, a uh, moon coral, another scully, some zoophrags, uh, a, uh, a lepto, I believe, I think. A couple of different variants of chalice. Got some nice sized, uh, I wouldn't call them hammer frags, but uh, sort of single heads in a few different colors there. Um, the camera is struggling to pick them up a little bit, but uh, you've got a nice sort of uh, pale yellow tip, a pink, a purple, a uh, pale green, a bright green, and the one over the back. I'm not too sure on the one in the back. Some scullies, maize, this beautiful, uh, I think this is a helio down here. It's kind of hard to show you on camera, but it's got a beautiful green mouth. I'll try and tilt down as much as I can. Just to that vibrant green uh, heart in the center there. Some scullies, lobos. Let's pan over here. All right, here we are. And this is the tank that we're currently testing the uh, Philips Coral Care on. Um, it was, did have two AI26 plus um, two Vitamini LED strips. We're just running the um, Philips Coral Care on at the moment, doing some PAR testing. In fact, if you come around here, you can see we've got. Um, some different par values that we've written on the glass. It might be hard to see there, but um, we've just been testing at different uh, points and heights and uh, intensities of what the par is, and um, it's testing up all right for a single fixture over a pretty large tank. It's, it's doing a good job. Now, let's have a look what curls we've got here. We've got a good assortment of SBS. Got a nice Montipora Danae, a few different acros, you see Pink Bird's Nest, a couple of nice uh, smooth skin acros in there. Uh, Meliopora, this uh, super bright yellow, highlighter yellow piece there is really, really nice. Got a uh, nice uh, Fungia, uh, Trachophilia, some Lobos, another Pectina, a uh, single head of Lobo, some wicked little uh, torches here. Really, really nice uh, toxic green centers in them, which I quite like. Got um, some uh, red caps, some various blastos. Uh, this one here has got some really unique coloration to it. I think I took some pictures of that before. Some of the scollies in this tank at um, $120 a piece are absolutely cracking. That um, green one there with the red splashes and little uh, gray streaks, absolute steal for 120 bucks. And there's uh, plenty more to pick from as well. All right, over this way we have a, um, a gold stripe maroon clown in there, desperately clinging onto this uh, tiny gig, which is only 450 bucks. Um, wicked little showpiece. If you had like a nice nano like this, that coral, well, that anemone and uh, that fish would just set the tank off. You could have just that with a little scape and it would look killer. All right, let's come over here into this tank. We've got some more SBS in here, some large colonies. This is a $45 tank, and uh, we've got some large, large SBS pieces in here. Some of them are browned a little, but they're still showing really good potential. Uh, what do we got down the bottom? We've got uh, some lobos, some war corals, some zoas, frog spawns, favias. A uh, nice little assortment in there. Over in this tank under the Phillips Coral Care, we've got... Uh, Cynarias, chalice, hammers. This chalice I quite like. This one back here, he's got some yellow through him. Really high potential. And there's another chalice here with a beautiful bright green edges. And uh, this one here with some bright green tips. Nice SPS pieces. And then uh, over into this tank. 
We've got a few odds and ends in here. We've got some uh, scollies. We've got a nice uh, collector urchin doing what they do, and that's take everything with them. Some sponge coral. Looks like we're propagating some uh, red morphs in here and some uh, fluffy morphs. I think these are the uh, reverse eagle eye zoas, which I must admit look pretty cool. Super, super bright. A little uh, platinum clownfish here. Got, uh, some blasto, some uh, horn coral, I'm pretty sure. Really nice uh, little Persian rug rhodactus there. Uh, this chalice here has got some beautiful bright eyes on it. And then if we come around to the end tank here, we've got some absolutely cracking pieces in here. This uh, reverse hammer is, it's kind of hard to see um, through the phone camera, but the colors on that are so bright. And probably what makes it look not as bright is that absolutely off the chart chalice behind it. It is more yellow than I've seen before in any gold chalice. So, so yellow and it's got a, uh, it's got some little red bits in the eye and then this green splash, which has just enough to make me think that I could take it home. But um, I'm trying to limit my coral purchases till the new tank's set up. This uh, big anemone there, we've got the little baby uh, Hadoni anemone. Uh, you've got this rainbow recordia in there. Another nice little uh, hammer and frog spawn. And then into the next anemone tank, we've got uh, green bubble tip, rose bubble tip, and then uh, forest fire bubble tip. That pretty well sees out all the uh, fish and corals. Just come around and have a look what's behind the counter. As usual, Dave's got a good assortment of different foods, pumps, lights, T5 tubes. Uh, we've got supplements, we've got auto water changes. We've got um, the full aqua forest range. He's got some uh, Kamoa dose pumps in. He's got uh, a full assortment of the uh, HANA reagents in, and I believe he's got some HANA checkers as well. So he's got all the uh, calcium, alkalinity, the phosphates, the um, uh, salinity checkers, some reference solution for the salinity checkers, um, continuum, aqua one auto feeders, not that um, anyone's really going away anywhere at the moment, but uh, maybe if you're not home, you need to uh, set up an auto feeder. That's what um, you can set up. Of course, uh, reef revolution range in the cabinet there as well. And uh, he's also got some uh, baby brine baby brine shrimp. I'm not sure how well we can focus on that in the camera, but uh, the bottle's teeming full of them. There is some uh, live copepods. Oh yeah, there they are down the bottom there. I always struggle to get these picking up on camera, but to the eye, I can see them swimming about. And then uh, last but not least, we've got uh, some live phytoplankton, which you can see quite easily without me doing anything on the camera. All right, guys, that's probably it from uh, my local fish shop. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, catch you later.